Okay, I didn't film the sound. I wasn't originally going to take video today. I just kind of wanted to just get out and hunt. But when your very first target, and I've been here two minutes, when your first target is a barber dime, maybe it's going to be a good day. So, I don't know. We'll see. I have to clean that barber off when we get home. But I guess we're shooting video now. Come back with the next. All right, well, my next target's also a silver dime. There's the first one right there and I just walked right here along a line sure enough another one can't tell what this one is I'm assuming it's going to be either a seated or a barber so I have to take it home and clean it off but it's silver see the reeded and the silver right there all right two for the day go back with the next and I got another good one here that we're right next to the or right on the surface I think you can hear it because I got the volume in my ears, but that's 1245, 1246. And I am just a few feet away from where I found the other ones. Let's see if that's going to be on top or close. Okay, so it's going to be right here. Silver. I hope it's nothing big. Oh, there it is. I see it. See it? The rim sticking out right there. Surface silver. Is that a dime or a quarter dime? All right, another silver dime that makes three in a row right here in this area. Wow, that is awesome. All right, come back with the next. All right, well, I don't believe it, but I think I've got another one. And again, I'm just steps away from where I just found that surface one. See that? Good number. It's a little deeper. Let's see if I can map it out and get the camera at the same time. I don't have my mount today. Again, didn't intend on filming. So, we'll see. That's eh, still in there. That's in this area. Use the old glove digger. Come on, show me. Oh, there it is, another dime. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yep, there's the reading. Another silver dime. That's four in just my first uh, 15 minutes here. Cool. All right, come back with the next. All right, got my first Civil War relic for the day. This one is a shot. 69 caliber musket ball. Look at that. All right. Come back with the next. Okay, I've got another surface signal here. It's uh, 1236. It's right in there. I'm hoping it's going to be a bullet or maybe an Indian. Anything but a bird band. Let's see if I got it out. <laughs> it's a bird band. Oh my gosh. These things are ridiculous. <coughs> Alright, here's a possible Indian head or musket ball. Twelve thirty four, twelve thirty five. Pop it out and I'll get back. Okay, if you were guessing Indian head on that one, you would be correct. Have to take it home and clean it. Looks kind of cruddy, as they all are out of here. All right, come back with the next. All right, here's another 1234 surfacey one. Somewhere there. 
Indian or bullet or bird band. Okay, still in there. Oh, coin. There it is. Another Indian. All right, awesome. Surface coins. We'll take them. Come back with the next. All right, back from that hunt. Um, didn't spend a lot of time out there, just a few hours. I'd been at an auction and wanted to stop by here on the way home, so I'm glad I did, kinda. A lot of the coins turned out corroded. Uh, this spoon I found in three separate pieces within about 10 feet of each other. It looks silver, but it's not, it's plated. It's got some pretty nice thick plating on there though too. Pretty impressed by that. But it's, it's all there. Been eaten by the plow a few times, it looks like. Um, some more Civil War lead. Musket balls, pistol balls. This one had been drilled, or wormed out, and then shot again, which is kind of neat. A little piece of a pin, or some sort of jewelry. Brooch pin. And unidentified nickel. Don't know what it is. Bunch of unidentified scents. Uh, actually, two of them are Indians and two are Wheats, at least. The rest, man, look at this. Can you tell anything on there? I can't. Look at that. Gross. I must have been in the really heavy fertilizer part of the field. The silvers kind of show it as well. See how dark and spotty they are from the corrosion. It's a 1906D, 1911D. 1911P and a Merc for a change. It's a 1916S. I really had to look at that S mint mark on the back because it's kind of kind of fuzzy. I was hoping it was a D, but it wasn't. Just an S. Oh well. Ugly silver, but hey, it's silver nonetheless. We'll take it. And these stupid bird bands. They're everywhere. Don't let your chickens run amok. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like, share, and subscribe. We farted.